Congratulations, class of 2021. Uh, your ability to adapt and persevere through the last uh, 15 or so months will certainly serve you well in your futures. Good luck in whatever you're pursuing next year and come back and say hi when you can. Just want to wish all you grads a congratulations. Uh, you know, you've done well this year considering all the circumstances you've been put through. Uh, just remember if you can make it through this year, guys, you can make it through anything, all right? So good job, congratulations. Congratulations, Titans. Uh, once a Titan, always a Titan. Good luck. Good luck. To the incredible Central Elegant Collegiate Institute Titans Class of 2021, under construction for four years, the barriers to your success over the past two have been significant, and for some, more than others. But you have persisted and you have persevered. Congratulations. Whether your next step is college, the workforce, a victory lap, university, or a gap year to volunteer, you are ready. You can go with confidence. I am certain that you will navigate the next chapter of your life carefully and well. You will know when to yield and take things slowly and carefully, and you will recognize when you can go full speed ahead. Take care of one another, have an amazing summer, and know that we here back at the school are always cheering you on. Class of 2020, congratulations. Well, this wasn't the year that you wanted, or maybe the one you deserved, but you made it. Now, the thing that always impressed me the most about your graduating class was your willingness to get involved, whether it was you know, an activity at lunch, on our teams, whatever it was, your class was always well represented. So that's my advice moving forward. Continue to get involved, whether it's in your post-secondary school, if you're moving on to the workforce, in the community that you're living in, get involved. Then you'll be a part of so many wonderful things. And you know what, when you look back, this will just be one year that you kind of missed out on and your life will be full of all these fantastic things. So continue to get involved. But I also hope that you take some time to remember us at CECI and come back and visit now and then and say hi. All right. Congratulations once again, class of 2021. Hey grads, congratulations on making it to the end of your high school career. What a fun group you've been. You've been so involved in the school, and in sports and drama and music and all of those parts of the high school experience. Now, what some of you don't know probably is those of you that were in my grade nine geography class when you first came to Central Logan and what an amazing class that was. I was probably just as nervous as you were entering the classroom doors because it was the one and only time I ever taught grade nine geography. And uh, I was so nervous to do it. And I couldn't have asked for a better class to, to be teaching in that experience. And I remember where all of you sat and uh, I remember how, how small you were and uh, nervous, awkward grade nines and what, what incredible people you have become through the growth of four years. I, I want you to enjoy what's ahead of you. Uh, seize every opportunity and always remember you are welcome back to your Titan family forever. Bye. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2021 Central Elgin Virtual Grad Banquet. My name is Scott Masker, and I'm in the guidance office. Traditionally, we have this offered at St. Anne's where we have a beautiful meal catered from Wayside Dining. And we also have a celebratory gift for grads for achieving their graduation at Central Ogden. Tonight, we'll be doing this virtually. And before we get started, we have some special presentations from Mark Fisher, our Director of Education, and our Elgin trustees, Megan Ruddick and Bruce Smith. Thank you, and please enjoy the evening with us. And we look forward to hearing about our graduates. On behalf of the Thames Valley District School Board, I am pleased to congratulate our graduates of 2021. It was a real pleasure and an honor to be invited to participate in your graduation ceremony. I only wish I could be there with you in person to offer my best wishes on this important moment in your lives. Today is especially important because the past year and a half has been very challenging. Your graduation year was different than any other in the history of education. Each of you has shown determination and flexibility to reach this important milestone. And you have learned many skills along the way that will serve you well 
as you move forward into the next exciting stage of your life. So today, we celebrate you. Some of you have been students in Thames Valley Schools since kindergarten. It is my hope that throughout your school career, you have felt welcomed, safe, and supported. And that today, on your graduation day, you feel confident and ready to successfully navigate your futures. It has been an interesting year in many ways. We not only face the challenges presented by the COVID-19 pandemic, learning at home, having our schedules constantly changing, and being separated from some of our friends and family members, but we watched and listened as history unfolded before us. Those events have, hopefully, made us all reconsider the way we look at each other and the world around us, and perhaps ask ourselves, am I doing all that I can to make my community a better place where we can accept each other for who we are and who we want to be. As you move forward in your lives and your careers, I am confident that each one of you, in your own way, will help to create a more compassionate and equitable society. Once again, congratulations to the graduates of 2021. I know your future is full of happiness and success. Have a safe and a wonderful summer holiday. Hello, I'm Trustee Bruce Smith. And I'm Trustee Megan Ruddick. And on behalf of Thames Valley, we bring you greetings. Graduates, your life is changing. As John Stewart said, in school, there are obligatory courses, credits you have to take, and electives, courses you choose to take. You are now entering life where everything is elective. Your success to this point is actually the success of hundreds, if not thousands of people. All the way along, your teachers have provided lessons to be learned and have encouraged you to do your best. Your kindergarten teacher is as much responsible for you being here as any other teacher. That grade 5 teacher, the EA who helped you, that friend who listened to you and supported you, all contributed. Every custodian, every principal and vice principal, every volunteer, they are all a part of this success story. Your graduation is the reason we exist. As you head off into this world, where everything is elective, remember this quotation. You were created with two ends, one to sit on and one to think with. Your success depends on which one you use the most. No successful person you will meet will say it was easy, it was simple. No, they will tell you it took hard work, perseverance and persistence. Next year, you will head off. We congratulate you on your accomplishments and we wish you continued success in your education and life journey. Welcome back everybody and this segment of the presentation will be looking at the destinations of all our graduates. The four destinations could be college, workplace, university or uh, apprenticeships. We value these all equally at Central Algren. Some of our students may even be returning for a fifth year to gain some extra courses or experience in order to get them off to one of those destinations. We do know that when we were gathering information that some students have made, have made changes to their destinations or pathways. We apologize if there are any errors. Please send us your information and we apologize for any mistakes that may have occurred. We also will be looking at some of the reflections our graduates taped earlier in the year, knowing that this possibly was gonna be a virtual presentation. 
We look forward to hearing from our graduates and their reflections on their past four or five years while being at Central Logan. The following grads will be beginning their apprenticeships. Chloe Coveney, Eric Hildebrandt, and Connor McMillan. I would tell my grade nine self to not be worried about everything because everything's going to be fine. My favorite memory at CCI would be meeting all my new friends and probably the first couple weeks of grade nine when I got to start meeting everyone. My shining moment at CCI is probably getting the Titan Award two years in a row at the Athletic Banquets. My advice for my grade nine self would definitely be to listen to the teachers as much as possible and all their advice. My favorite memory at CCI is all the Christmas assemblies. Kendall Goodhue, Kate Hanslip, and Grace Temple will be attending Brescia University College. I really liked the metal shop. That was really fun. My favorite memory is the day before Christmas break. So like the dinner, the karaoke, the contest, and most importantly, the assembly. Favorite memory was meeting all my friends that I made. I think they're pretty awesome. The advice I would give my grade nine self is to just be yourself and be comfortable with who you are. Uh, the advice I'd give my grade nine self is to do your work and just don't be so hard on yourself because you're, you're an amazing person and you should love yourself. So. Tyler Christian, Silas Holst, Trent Rusink, Ryan Stiles, and Kiki Wilson will be attending Brock University. Probably just the people, hanging out with friends, uh, long lunch breaks, walking to different places. My shining moment would probably be um, being in the band and being able to travel to different locations and play music with different people. Just the things that I learned in the music program here was really great and it was something I'd want to do more in other schools. Um, the advice I'd give my grade nine self is to participate more in like uh, sports, for example, like try out for all the teams or like do some more clubs. Not to do any stupid things, basically. My favorite memory from CECI was a Titan training day. The following students will be returning to Central Elgin next year. Paige Abbott, Owen Baden, Abby Barrett, Keith Booker, Emily Burton, Madison Campbell, Ileana Coxon, Anthony Curran, Luke Curtis, Kyla Davidson, Kyle Dennis, Colin Dupuy, TK Dillard, Chloe Edwards, Zara Fair, Grant Ferguson, Dylan Figueredo, Logan Henderson, Matthew Juha Hasselbrink, Brady Coco, Jake Lister, Max McCulley, McKenna McPhail, Ewan Neal, Amelia Pavio, Aaron Fye, Deanna Pritchett, Megan Smith, Seth Thiessen, DJ Tilly, Haley Tilly, and Brianna Vernay. The following students will also be returning to high school, just not at Central Elgin. Ashley Lester, Jack Tunstall, Sarah Lang. Uh, my favorite memory at CCI would definitely be grade 10 English class. My shining moment at CCI was probably when I won the history award in grade 10. My shining moment at CCI was in grade nine when we played Parkside against Under the Lights Soccer. And it was just an unreal game, it was 1-1. One, one. Everyone fought, it was, I'll never forget it. My favorite memory at CCI is probably lunches because then you got to sit with all of your friends and eat together and just talk about funny stuff and just have a good time. Advice I would tell my grade nine self is to get involved in anything you can because high school really does go by fast. Xander Ballantyne, Brenna Hall, and Clarissa Ritchie will be attending Conestoga College in the fall. Um, I think my shining moment here at Central was becoming uh, co-president this year in grade 12 for student council. Unfortunately, it's not the same as it has been in the previous years, and I would have liked to do a lot more, 
but it's been a pretty good year and we've been able to plan uh, multiple things for the school. One of my favorite memories from CECI is building a Muskoka chair in Woodshop. And another one would be going to the buyouts during class. Well, the advice I would probably give my grade nine self is to work harder and get better grades. Um, I have a few favorite memories. Uh, one of them is are the home games for volleyball or uh, basketball. And then I also really liked the school dances. It was really fun. Uh, my favorite memory at CECI was uh, the grade 10 girls, junior girls basketball buyout against Parkside. Uh, we played really well and I usually crack under pressure, but I played really well, so I was happy about that. The following students will be attending Fanshawe College. Rachel Down, Tyler Greenway, J.D. Ledoux, Amberly Mills, Naomi Afori, Hannah Onyema, Jack Pigram, Olivia Ryder, Christopher Savard, Jesse Silverthorne, Alexis Walker, Michaela Walker, and Ariel Williams. My favorite memory as a Titan be that we came very close to beating JP2 in the WASA Finals in the 2020 basketball season when earlier in this season we lost by 40 to them at the Western Tournament. I would say my shining moment was uh, scoring a goal for soccer at Parkside under the lights, so that was the tie of the game. So nice, one goal, awesome. My favorite thing about Central Elgin is definitely the teachers. They are amazing. They're always good for a laugh. They're... <laughs> the classes are very enjoyable. Okay, the advice that I would give to my grade nine self would be to worry less about homework and marks and more about making memories. Uh, my favorite memories from CECI was most likely the dances. Scott McDonald will be attending Sir Sanford Fleming College. I think my favorite memory being at CECI was being a part of the pit band for the Sound of Music musical when I was in grade 10. And it was a really good experience to meet new people and play alongside with a lot of great musicians. And it was very fun and exciting to be a part of. My advice for my grade nine self would be to get more involved in some of the other groups and communities here at Central. Um, if I were to go back in time and give myself in grade nine some advice, I'd probably just tell myself, you know, do the work right on time. Don't wait until the last minute to do it. Best advice I'd give to my uh, grade nine self would probably be uh, don't get suspended four times. Um, shining moments? Well, I can think of a couple, but I'm really just going to stick to one because this is the most recent and probably one of my favorites, the talent show. Um, when I had performed Whitney Houston. Hannah Eveland and Amanda Sadler will be attending Georgian College. My probably proudest moment was probably making it to Wassa with the, with the basketball team. That was just, meant a lot to me, you know. Uh, my shining moment at CCI would probably be, um, ooh, when I uh, got to go on ski trip. And all the times on ski trip, I got to teach uh, my fellow friends how to ski, and that was definitely quite fun. A shining moment that meant a lot for me during my high school career was when the field hockey team won their first game in so many years, and it's just a memory that I will always remember with these wonderful ladies that I met. My favorite memory of Central Elgin would probably be one of the trips to Jaffa or any time that I was in the metal shop. It's just a lot of fun in that. One of my favorite memories from while I was at Central was the grade 10 basketball buyout game when the whole school was in the gym and we were all chanting and we beat Parkside. <laughs> Josh Meredith and Jadalyn Wallman will be attending Lampton College. Some advice I'd give my grade nine self is probably to go with the flow and just enjoy it while it lasts because it went by really quick. Uh, if I could go back in time and give myself advice in grade nine, it would be try to make as many friends as you can, like, in the beginning. Um, my shining moment would probably be graduating, I guess, graduating this year. My favorite memory was probably playing grade 10 soccer. 
Uh, I'd give myself advice to get into more clubs and more like social events. Gray Weiss will be attending Lakehead University. Um, my shining moment at CCI was actually this year because my grades have um, increased a lot um, throughout the year and I am very proud of myself for that. And I got accepted into college this year too. Uh, my favorite memory at Central would probably be uh, playing sports uh, through my high school experience up until, uh, of course, we didn't play in grade 12, but it was still good through 9 to 11. My favorite memory at CCI was probably Funch. Um, the advice I'd give my grade 9 self is that throughout high school there's going to be a lot of ups and downs, but like regardless of those, there's always going to be success at the end. I would tell my grade 9 self to stop straightening my hair every single day. Taya D'Souza will be attending Long Beach State University in California. Um, my favorite memory at CCI would probably have to be the dances. My favorite memory at CCI was probably all the sports and the uh, color house assemblies because you felt involved in everything you'd be doing. The advice I would give to my grade 9 self would be to join as many clubs and involve myself as much as possible. Uh, the advice I would give my grade, se grade 9 self is to be that person you needed when you were growing up. My favorite memory at CCI is probably a lot of the color house days when we do these ridiculous games and when we were pushing around people on the, I don't know what they're called, the wheel trolley things and uh, it was really fun to just uh, be with each other and uh, have some fun. Quinn Bergen will be attending McGill University. I think the advice I would give is that people don't care as much as you think they do. Just be yourself, have fun. Uh, you're enjoying your last few years. It's supposed to be the best time of your life. My shining moment at CECI was being an exemplar in dramatic arts. When I got 92 in grade 9 math? Uh, probably the grade 9 Titan training day. Uh, my favorite memory at CECI was uh, hanging out with my friends at lunch. Faith DeVries will be attending Nipissing University. My shining moment would probably be um, playing field hockey. I made some great friends on the team. My shining moment at CCI was probably being the skip of the uh, school's curling team, which I had a lot of fun doing, and I would definitely do again. My shining moment from CCI was getting the grade 10 academic English award at undergrads. I think uh, winning honors a couple times about three times right now, and I'm hoping to get it again this year. My favorite moment at CCI is any of the band concerts that we did. The following students will be attending Queen's University, Summer Dockstader, India Parker, Alexia Platt, Clark Renault. My shining moment at CCI was probably the whole four years. Um, I've enjoyed every minute I've spent here. Um, my favorite memory at CCI is probably just playing all the sports. I was involved with a lot of teams here. Um, if I could give my grade 9 self some advice, it would be to just take more chances um, and to go out and do some more things because high school went by really fast. Um, and I would go back and just kind of do a lot more stuff and have some more fun. My shining moment at CCI was when I created a book in English class and I got 100%. My shining moment at CECI was probably the lift up that we did this year. Uh, it was a lot of fun and I made a lot of friends and all in all, it was just a great experience. Sydney G, Emma Gould, Maggie Rusink, and Sarah Timmermans will be attending St. Clair College. I would say my shining moment is the fact that I've been trying extra hard even during this weird time and I've received probably the best grades I have and I'm also starting to apply for more scholarships and awards and such which is something I wouldn't even really think of doing back in like 9, 10 or 11. My shining moment in CECI was passing all my classes. What advice I'd give to my grade 9 self? Just. Don't worry about what people think about you and act as yourself. My shining moment at CCI was when I had the opportunity to present a passion project of mine in front of Mr. Flummerfeld, the principal, and some other 
great teachers. My shining moments at CCI was getting my art in the art gallery and being able to take photos for yearbook and being able to point out what was mine and what wasn't. The following students are still undecided about their plans for next year. Hayden Banfick, Jordan Futcher, Nicholas Johnston, Cody O'Halloran, and Noah Russell. My favorite memory at CACI would probably be Variety Is Music Festival. Um, the advice I would give my grade nine self is listen to what people say about CECI because it is a really good school. My favorite memory was meeting all my new friends. I would give my grade nine self some advice of just live high school, you know, take it easy. Don't stress too much. My favorite moment at CECI was grade 10 color run. Dylan Byrne. Natalie LaRock, Charlie Magri, Anna Retta, and Kate Ripley will be attending the University of Guelph. My favorite memory at Central Elgin was probably the dances, all of them, none in particular, just dancing and having fun with everyone. Uh, some of the best memories that I had at CCI were always uh, school trips, like, or going to games, but it was the, the bus trip going to these uh, things, like uh, hanging out on the bus with the pals and all that was very fun. So I'd say the bus trips were definitely some of my favorite memories from CECI. Um, so advice that I would give to my grade nine self would probably be to get more involved in the school because I didn't do many sports or anything and I kind of regret doing that. So just to get more involved around the school. Uh, to do all your schoolwork on time and to uh, be nice to everyone. Um, my favorite memory at CCI would probably be anything specific, like just like lunches, like hanging out with friends. The following students will be attending the University of Toronto. Derek Akaprik, Emily Campau, Simran Patel. One of my favorite moments at CCI was definitely uh, spending time with our fitness class, you know, going through our workouts and circuits with uh, everyone as a team, as a group. It was really fun. Um, it was very inspiring and it gave me a lot of motivation. It was definitely fun as well. So, Oh, shining moment is when I hit the game-winning shot in overtime for basketball. Um, I would tell my grade 9 self that uh, to know everything will be okay. My shining moment was switching to CECI. It's a good school. Um, when we did the school play, and I got to be involved in that, I would, I guess that would be my shining moment. Shara Kuiper and Nelson Loop will be attending the University of Waterloo. Some advice I'll give my grade nine self is um, don't be afraid to do anything you want to. Um, some advice I would give my grade 9 self would be to enjoy the small things because it moves very fast. Um, for me, I think that my shining moment was probably just being able to attend undergrad every year and just receive awards of academic achievement. The advice I would give my grade 9 self is to not put my identity in grades or how will I do in school because in, if I do, I'll end up beating myself up and in that way, I can avoid being stressed. So my advice for my grade nine self would probably be to transfer to eat CEC High sooner rather than later. It was a good experience for my four years here. I transferred in grade nine. So I probably would have just came here in the first place. Maddie Ayer, Tyler Lachance, and Kian O'Barris will be attending the University of Windsor. I really liked Titan training day, surprisingly, because I'm not really into that kind of stuff, but it was actually a lot of fun. So I quite enjoyed that day. Uh, favorite moment, CECI. There's a lot of them, but my, probably my favorite would be the color under the Thanksgiving feast. So those were amazing. Probably just to take school a lot less seriously and to not to worry about it. I was really worried in grade nine, thinking high school was gonna be big and scary, but it's not. Central was probably the color house assemblies. 
I have many favorite moments at CCI, all that happened in the inside ride and uh, color house assemblies and all the other fun events that we had. The following students will be attending Western University, Gavin Barnhouse, Joshua Beetson, Chase Campbell, Tyson Dreyer, Ryan Foster, Paige Gillespie, Taya Gordon, Michelle Ho, Reese Jewell, Nick Kaplanis, Ali McPherson, Madeline Miskelly, Nathan Awuasu Asiadu, Amanda Wilcox, Aya Zebian. What was my favorite moment at CCI? My definitely favorite moment has to be Inside Ride. It was just such a fun activity that we were able to share with friends and teachers, and the whole day just had such a powerful meaning as well. So that was definitely a good moment for me. Uh, the advice that I would give to my grade nine self would be to not be nervous. Just throw yourself into it. Make sure you put yourself out there and have fun. Uh, work hard, pull through. It's going to be a difficult couple of years, but it'll be worth it in the end. My shining moment, eh, probably choosing here. It's a really good school. I like being here a lot and it hits after another. Tori Baker and Devin Officer will be attending Wilfrid Laurier University. Advice I would give my grade nine self would be put yourself out there more and participate in more school activities. My favorite moment at CCI was definitely joining the field hockey team. I really enjoyed being a part of the team and having the school spirit. My shining moment at CCI would probably be becoming a student council co-president with Grace Temple. My shining moment at CECI was when I got to compete at WASA in cross country. The following individuals will be entering the workforce or taking a year off to work. Dylan Anderson, Benjamin Basako, Haley Bugner, Alex Chalk, William Chen, Ryan Gordon, Trent Greening, Carter McCurry, Logan Nordham, Leah Sanderson, Bryce Serator, Jewel Smith, Sarah Stock, Regan Trevers, Connor Wares, Connor Weber, Emma Woods, Annika Woolsey, Taryn Orchard. Um, my favorite moment was definitely uh, last year's semi. I think it was super fun. Uh, I think my favorite moment, or moments, I guess you could say, at CECI, were all the Christmas assemblies, you know? Seeing how much effort the teachers put in to make the students happy, you know, send them off on a great last note to end the year. It's great. I'll say one of my favorite moments at CECI was probably the Titan Training Day. It's because I met a lot of people around the school and I gathered more friends and started socializing more and I got to know the school better. The following graduates have not provided any information about what their plans are for next year. If you are one of the following individuals, please contact us and let us know what your plans are. We really do care. Colin Elsden, Owen McDonald, Parker Marucci, Matthew Minifee, Spencer Moran, Mia Payne, Olivia Pettit, Riley Russell. Each year we have a special guest speaker to offer words of wisdom to our graduates as they venture off into their destinations. And this year, Ms. Firth has volunteered to do this presentation. We look forward to hearing from her, and luckily, most of you have probably had the opportunity to have Ms. Firth as a classroom teacher. First of all, I want to congratulate each and every one of you on reaching this important milestone in your education. You did it. Even though sometimes it seemed like you never would get to this point, you did it. You graduated. Congratulations, Titans. It is your opportunity to seize the day. Well, I'm sad to see you leave us behind after watching you grow from grade nine to grade 12. 
I am so incredibly excited for you as you move on and work towards your dreams and goals. Will the next stage of your life be easy? No, of course not. But no matter what happens, I challenge you to keep trying and to keep making progress. When I think about this graduating class, I see a group filled with so much promise, ready to offer so many positive contributions to our world. And knowing each of you, and after having had the opportunity to have taught so many of you, I'm excited and optimistic about the direction you will take our world. This is a class of positive, innovative, tech-savvy, environmentally conscious, open-minded and accepting individuals who are ready to take the world by storm and make it a better place. This is a group who is not afraid to voice their opinions when they feel that injustices are occurring. And you know how to take advantage of social media to communicate your dissatisfaction with the status quo. This is a group of young adults who are ready to help right past wrongs and are eager to seek truth and understanding and to work in partnership with others towards reconciliation so that as a country, we can move forward to seek justice and equity for all Canadians. I know that these past two school years have not been easy and that you have missed out on many of the anticipated high school experiences. The adults in your life are sympathetic and wish that things could have been different for you. However, life is unpredictable as we have learned and we need to look forward and focus on the positives. We are still here together, even if not physically. We made it and we learned just how resilient we really are. We lived through a major historic event that someday we can reflect back on and share stories of what life was like for us. Many of you worked as frontline essential workers who bravely kept things going in your community, while others were important caregivers for siblings. You each played an important role in this pandemic while earning your credits and staying on track to graduate. No other generation can say that. You are more resilient than you know, and you are ready to take on whatever comes next. I know you were nervous about entering post-secondary school or the workforce full time, but you are more ready and have more skills than you realize. Your families, your teachers, and other CECI staff have prepared you and have helped you to develop the skills you need to succeed. As you say goodbye to your CECI family and get ready to take on the world and make new family groups, don't forget to keep a part of CECI in your hearts and minds. I hope you always reflect back fondly on the good times and see the bad times as learning experiences that helped you to get one step closer to your dreams. Make sure to set goals for yourself and to take advantage of all that is out there for you. Keep an open mind and roll with whatever comes your way. Be safe, be kind, and always think things through. Remember, tomorrow is promised to nobody, so live and dream big. Make every moment count and have no regrets. Congratulations, Titans. You will be missed, but we are cheering you on and watching to see what you do next with your opportunities. Best of luck next year and have a great summer. Welcome again. Our new principal, Ms. Shelley Dubin, will be offering some comments and be announcing our class of 2021 valedictorian, selected by the students of the graduating class. Greetings, Titan graduates. Welcome to our 2021 graduation celebration. I know that we would all prefer to be meeting in person, for you to see each other one more time before heading off for the summer and then to your post-secondary destination in the fall. And for CECI staff to be able to say goodbye to you, to wish you well, and to celebrate your accomplishments. I wanna say a sincere congratulations to this graduating class. You have had, definitely had some unique challenges over the last year and a half, but you've persevered and now you're moving on to the next phase of your lives. Although I've not had the chance to get to know many of you, everything that I have seen or heard has definitely impressed me. Your teachers and all the other staff at CECI have great things to say about this group. I'm looking forward to connecting with you again in the fall for our commencement ceremony, where we'll more formally celebrate your many accomplishments. Among other awards and presentations, you'll have the opportunity to hear from your valedictorian, the person selected by this class to represent you and speak on your behalf. It is my great pleasure to announce that the graduating class of 2020-2021 has voted for Clark Renault to deliver the valedictory address. 
Congratulations, Clark. And with that, let's get on with our celebration. I hope you enjoy the rest of the evening. And if I don't see you in person this week, I wish you a safe, healthy, and enjoyable summer. Congratulations, graduates. A few housekeeping items to conclude this ceremony. Tomorrow, we're asking grads to come to the school between the hours of 9 and 3 to pick up their gifts provided to us by the school and by our parents group. We also will be asking you to keep in mind that in October, we'll be having another graduation ceremony. Hopefully, it will be in person, but if not, we may have to be doing it virtually. It traditionally runs on the weekend of Thanksgiving, but we'll keep that as a to be determined based on the information that we'll be receiving over the next few months. In conclusion, we're going to be looking at some photos that graduates had sent us celebrating their four or five years while at Central Logan. Congratulations to all our graduates of 2021. Keep in mind, once a Titan, always a Titan. And please keep us in your hearts and in your minds, and please let us know all the wonderful things you'll be doing once you leave here. We always like to hear and have you return to, to celebrate and share all your successes. Again, congratulations and all the best. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Damn, who knew? All the planes we flew, good things we've been through That I'll be standing right here talking to you About another path I know we love to hit the road and laugh But something told me that it wouldn't last Had to switch up, look at things different See the bigger picture Those were the days, hard work forever pays Now I see you in a better place See you in a better place Ah. Uh. Can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you gon' be with me for the last ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, we came a long way. from where we began. You know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. Watch your way in the vibe is feeling strong and was small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first then the line will never be crossed established it on our own when that line had to be drawn and that line is what we reach so remember me when i'm gone can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you're going to be with me for the last ride. Don't let the light guide your way. Yeah. Hold every memory as you go. And every road you take. you my friend and i'll tell you all about it when i see you again we've come a long way from where we began oh i'll tell you all about it when i see you again when i see you
Thank you.